Liam, thanks. Now, for more than 20 years, travellers have been able to fly for free on BA flights by accumulating points through the retail reward scheme Air Miles. But it's all changed. From November, the currency will be devalued and people will have to pay taxes on top of the loyalty points they've cashed in. Well, the Independence Travel Editor, Simon Calder, can tell us more. I think you need to, Simon. And he's here with Mandy Dixon, an Air Miles customer. In very simple, basic language, because lots of people do have Air Miles, and a lot of people are confused about what's happening to the Air Miles. OK, now, Air Miles here are pure Air Miles. They are the currency that you collect by spending money at the right supermarket, buying the right petrol, using the right credit card. You don't get them for flying frequently, but what you can use them for, you just exchange them for British Airways flights. And as you say, they've been going well since 1988 and um, going along pretty well. At the moment, if for instance you want to uh, buy a flight to Paris, you spend maybe 500 pounds, 700 pounds at the supermarket and you get a return trip to Paris, which is great. But from the, 7th, the 16th of November, they're going to change from air miles. They will disappear. You'll have a new currency called Avios. They're going to multiply the number of air miles you've got in your account by 10, but then they're going to multiply the number you need for some destinations by 12. Right. So it's going to take you longer to save up for a trip to Paris. And it gets worse. You will then have to pay uh, towards the taxes, fees and charges, which can be anything from £27 to Paris to £90 for a free flight. OK, Mandy, you, now you're somebody who's used air miles. You have air miles now. I have now, used air miles, yes, and I've got air miles now. And, and what really, really annoyed me was you got this email saying everything is going to be really lovely and, you know, it's going to be work better than it was before because you're going to get more air miles. But there, it's also the, dis they've also, the tariff is increased as well. Um, and um, they're going to be called this new thing and everything. And then in the small print it says, but you will pay for the passenger duty, the surcharge, fuel surcharges, taxes and everything like that. Now, apart from the fact that I, d I, mean, I don't fly for business, so I don't know how much those are going to be. Um, the whole beauty of the air miles was I did my shopping, I converted my points into air miles, and I thought, that's lovely, I've got some air miles. And then when I wanted to fly, I didn't have to pay anything else. Um, so... Will, will the result of this be that, I mean, will you ditch the system? Will you not bother anymore? Well, I think that probably after I've spent the ones that, that I've now got, and I think I have to be in a hurry to spend them as well, and that I don't like as well, I probably won't do because I collect it through a supermarket, and I collect it through a supermarket's loyalty scheme, so I can do a lot of other things with those points other than air miles, and I can always fly budget airlines. So what's the justification by air miles for? Well, they say they can't afford to continue to do what they have been doing, which is pay taxes, fees and charges and so on. And they say they're just falling into line with what everybody else does. There's also other things going on. For example, BA miles, which is what you get if you do fly, fly frequently on BA, are going to be turned into Avios as well, as are oh. Iberia frequent flyer points, and to turn it into a kind of global scheme. But the upshot for people like Mandy is you've, if you've got air miles saved up, you have to spend them online by the 16th of November or by phone by the 16th of December, but you can book a flight up to a year ahead. So if you want to book a trip for next August, for instance, you can book that now and your air miles will still be valid, even though by the time you take that trip, they'll long have gone. And does that, I mean, will you take advantage of that? Presumably that yes, I will do, yes. I mean, luckily enough, it's the way it's happened is I've just got enough air miles to, to go to somewhere like Paris or Amsterdam or something like that. We might have saved up for more, but now I'm going to spend them because be better I think. It's a risky strategy by Air Miles isn't it to try to fall in line with everyone else because it's such a popular scheme and people like Mandy yeah. are just going to abandon it. Well they clearly have done their research they say they've talked to hundreds of Air Miles collectors I'm not sure that I would meet that many who said yes please charge mm. us money up to £300 just to yeah. go to New York for example on a free flight but uh, it's a profitable business um, Air Miles it's part of British Airways they want to turn it into a global scheme and um, basically they're just saying off you go uh, we're giving you plenty of warning if you do want to buy but what I've seen in the last 48 hours since they first started sending out the emails to people like Mandy is that there's been a real surge in bookings of people are trying to offload their air miles before they have to pay taxes on them. Thank you both very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Madonna known as